this is part three of my videos uh, showing you how to install and tweak Windows XP. Uh, first two videos concerned installing and beginning stages of tweaking and now we'll start disabling Windows services. Um, so in order to do that you need to go to start and then run and type in services dot msc click enter this is the screen we're looking for uh, now windows xp ships with a bunch of services that most home users will never use and can actually open you up to some vulnerabilities so we can go through them and disable them uh, the biggest one is the indexing service uh, this uses the most resources and unless you're searching for files on your computer dozens or hundred times a day it really is not worth running so disable it um, the next one is print spooler uh, if you don't have a printer hooked up to your computer there's no reason to run the print, print spooler service so to disable a service you right click on it go to properties and this drop down menu set it to disabled and then it sets it to disabled uh, if it's running it'll still be running um, you don't need to stop them right now because you can just reboot and they'll they won't run the next time they your computer boots up okay uh, after the sprint print spooler going down the line uh, can turn off the remote registry uh, this is a pretty big security hole and no home user will ever use the remote registry so set it to disabled still going down uh, system restore service you saw me disable it in a the previous video we can disable the service as well uh, I find the system restore service to be completely worthless okay uh, next is terminal services uh, if no one's connecting remotely to this machine using uh, RDP the remote desktop protocol that's built into Windows then there's no need to have terminal services running so we can disable it also themes uh, we're running the basic windows so we don't need to have themes enabled and we can disable them web client uh, almost no home users are ever gonna use the web client service so disable it Now on this computer it's always hardwired so I don't need to use the wireless zero configuration so I'll disable it. Uh, if you're using a laptop that you use wirelessly or a wireless desktop then you don't want to disable this service but for me there's no reason having it enabled. Okay so those are the main uh, services that I disable there are some others that you can disable depending on your usage but uh, I'll let you decide on those uh, if you visit a site called blackviper.com he can show you he has a list of services okay this is blackviper.com uh, I recommend following the safe column here and he's got the Windows services and what he recommends uh, the safe column is going to be right for probably 95% of users so it's a great site uh, it has Windows XP Windows Vista and Windows 7 service uh, recommendations so you can use task manager to see your resource usage and all of those services are still enabled you can see we're using 112 megabytes and we'll see how it changes when we restart and all those services become disabled ok 
Okay, so I just rebooted and loaded up Task Manager, and you can see that how much we've saved over 30 megs of RAM. So it's a pretty big improvement for just disabling Windows services. Um, and you've also made your computer more secure as well. So this is my base Windows install. I haven't installed any new programs, no antivirus, uh, no chat programs, no poker clients. So this is the what we're going to be working from. So check out my next video where I'll show you how to uh, what programs I use and what programs I definitely don't use.